So this would be after John Rudge left. Um, this would be your first encounter with uh, Mickey Adams. <laughs> not, for, oh, wow. not for the last time in your career, but um, Mickey Adams. Give us a, cause there's a lot of, you know, Mickey Adams lovers who watch this podcast. So tell us a little about him. Uh, oh, Lord. Really? Do you want me to tell you about Mickey? <laughs> okay. um, Mickey, if you're listening and if you see me, I love you, boss. Um, he's got a small mentality. A small man mentality. He's um, he can be a very angry man. Um, he used to he used to run us constantly. Every other day he used to run us. Um, we always used to have to be fit, strong, which is cool, which is fine. Every footballer has to be. Um, uh, again, I didn't really do too well at Port Vale, uh, and then moving forward to go to Sheffield United, um, I kind of just picked myself up and got my confidence in a sense. Um, not that Mickey um, suppressed anything or made me play worse. Um, he just was a very... Um, <laughs> and I'm going to say it because I, I'm, I'm finished football now, so I can say <laughs> he was a very angry manager. Um and if I see him, we can talk now. He's my boss. I love him. And um, I'm, I'm so glad he's done so well in the game. And I'm so glad that he's taken me to so many different clubs and I've had to experience um, management under him. Um, but, yeah, I went to Sheffield United and, sorry, on the second season, I think it was. And um, done really well. Done really well. So you, you, it's interesting you just jumped to Sheffield United there, Marcus. So, so I, I live in Sheffield, so I know what it's all right. about. <laughs> where about? Where about? I live, um, I live just in the city centre, but I used to live on Eccl Ecclesall Road, used to be where I... Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that's, where, that's where I used to reside. But... Oh, so that's where you go out clubbing and that's stuff. That's it. All right, okay. Nailed no, it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. with regards to Sheffield United, you've gone from Mickey Adams to Neil Warnock. Did, do you think that sort of helped you out a little bit? Because they're, are they quite similar managers? Well, I didn't go straight to Neil Warnock. It was, um, uh, what was the manager? Um, it was the manager before that. Uh, and he got, he got passed on. He got sacked because the club wasn't doing well. Um, but Neil Warnock came in. Uh, but Neil Warnock came in from a non-league club. Um, so his way of thinking, the way he's coaching was minded with mine kid again like Mickey Adams give you a day off here give you a day off here um he was very um friendly um it, it wasn't like I called it don't get me wrong I called him a manager I called him a boss but he was very friendly and um tried to get the best out of you at every point he could um so literally again I as soon as he came in um, I, I was just scoring. I mean, hat tricks at Man City, um, scoring goals without thinking. I still wasn't the, the finished article, but um, the players that I had around me, Paul Devlin, um, the players that I had around me at Sheffield United at that time, we were just a team. We were a force to be reckoned with. But we always social. Together, go out together, Ecclesaw Road. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, 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 it was brilliant. It was nice. I mean, leaving there, I remember having the call from Blackburn um, to move. I went into um, Bramall Lane and uh, the fans, but walked out into the, the stadium and I knew I was leaving. Um, again, I cried. Um, um, and then that morning I had to pack up my stuff and a car picked me up and I turned up at um, um, Blackburn yeah when you talk about you know like work-life balance that we all have in our lives would you say would you say you were the happiest in Sheffield oh yeah definitely yeah definitely yeah you, yeah, you just brought something up yeah very happy I was absolutely ecstatic 
they're very happy. Um, I knew the town, I knew the fans. I could walk about. Um, I, I, I don't really care if everyone knows me or, or speaks to me, but uh, coming from London, it's not always the same when you go up north. When you go up north, it's, it's a little bit more smiley and a little bit more happy, in a sense. Um, so knowing that I'm going to move to another city, which I don't know, Blackburn, um, a bigger team, not a bigger team, sorry, um, but a team where I feel like I can uh, go and kind of make my name and, and, and move forward in a sense with the likes of the players that were there. Um, I had to make that move. I had to make that move. Um, but Sheffield United, I love. Always will do. I was I done. I co- sorry, not I coached. I was doing Liverpool Sheffield uh, start of the season, and I remember coming down out of the stands, and uh, the whole stadium gave me a clap and a, a, a and a, a a cheer. I didn't know that they would see me, or I, I wasn't expecting it, but they all clapped me and and um, gave me that. Um, presence and that that love and I appreciate that I appreciate it a lot